everybody it's another morning update and what a morning it is about nine o'clock in the morning and why is that significant it's significant because i always get up about half six seven just wake up there can't help myself and about 15 minutes ago i woke up feeling completely re refreshed uh, relaxed and it's just fantastic doing this so what is happening well so far um it's a great little campsite um, Betty has had some compliments from the Germans that side, the French that side, saying she's beautiful, which is fantastic. I've got the paddleboard set up. Um, today I'm going to go and see if I can launch the drone and go fly over the lake. Um, so I've got the drone, I'm going to try and take my fly fishing rod out on the uh, kayak, uh, on the kayak, on the paddleboard, and see whether I can catch some trout for dinner. That's a very, very low probability exercise. but. Everything's going pretty well, so this is day whatever. I'm still in the Verdon Gorge, um, and do you know what? It's bloody lovely here, um, so come with me. I've got the paddleboard inflated already. I'm stocking up with some coffee and some supplies because I'm going to be out for most of the day. Um, and let's go and have some fun. Come along. People of the internet, this is Richard from Dicking About, and this is my update on my SUP setup. This is my paddleboard, it's the Isle Sportsman. Why did I get this? Because I have terrible balance and it's extra wide, it's designed for fishing. Um, it is a pretty nifty bit of a kit. And as you can see, it's got various ports so I can put the rod holder, etc., in there. Um, and there are a couple of other bits there. And what I've also got is this fantastic angle cool box. And the reason I've got this so two two things are a great setup one this cool box is fantastic i've got a variety of bits water my fishing rod is already in there etc etc and it also has this really neat little compartment on the top where you can put your book your keys and also your fishing lures so basically you can have that safe so my rationale for this is that ain't going anywhere so and it's gonna flow and be watertight. So as long as it's strapped down, it can be used both as storage for um, drinks and food and lunch, etc. Uh, and also it could be used for um, uh, catching fish or keeping fish in. So you could put some ice in it, etc., etc. So let me show you how I just put this back in there. Let me show you how I set this up. And to do this, I'm just gonna quickly clip you onto my chest harness. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Right, so I take this. Luckily, I can see there are marks here where I've done it before. And all I'm gonna do is I've just got this bungee and the bungee is gonna go over that one and over that one and through that one. And I'm gonna do the same the other side. And then I'll tell you about the extra paddle in a minute. So this, that goes out of the way, the handle. I'm literally going to clip it through that one, bring the bungee over here and through that one. Now that is perfectly secure, it's just behind the central point so I can stand here and paddleboard normally or I could sit on it and even when I'm sitting on it I could stand up, reach underneath me and get to the good stuff. Um, the reason I've got two paddles here is the other great thing about this is so I'm going to go out normal paddleboarding. At the point the wind's really strong, take you off the chest. At the point the wind's really strong, etc., or you've got a headwind, or actually you're just covering a lot of distance, um, I can unclip the handle end off that paddle and clip on the extra blade. So effectively it becomes a kayak paddle. But that can sit there, or it can sit in one of the rod holders until I'm ready to use it. So this is my setup, and I'm launching today into San Croix Lake. I'll lift it up properly so I don't damage the fin. And I'm going to try and paddle all the way out there, um, all the way out there, and see what's out there and see how far I can get. I've got the whole day, so. Bit of wake there from two speedboats. So I switched to the double paddle and <laughs> kneeling down, tell you what, you really can get a decent amount of speed. And now that they've gone past and I want a more chilled out environment, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclip that, 
pop that one back under there pop the handle back on and there we go I can be back up and at it like a champion like a god like a paddle boarding god So I've got what's called a Dexter's Wedge on. So it's quite a small one. This is it, Dexter's Wedge. It's not a big lure. I've got some bigger versions, but it isn't a very big setup. And I'm almost worried that if I catch something the size of, that would justify the lures the guys were using yesterday, I'm not sure this rod reel combo could bloody handle it. I'll probably get towed around the lake. I'm not sure whether that'd be cool or very embarrassing. So this is the current setup um, on the board you can see here. The beauty, the beauty of this cool box is that whether my feet are in the water or not, um, I've changed the paddle to have the blade at each end and I was standing up and now I can sit down, I can fish, I can move around. I'm actually sitting on the cool box to get my drinks or my or my lures etc um, but I can just pick up the paddle and move around but this lake is so still that actually I don't really need to Whoa! stunning winds picked up a little bit how far have I gone look at that had a mile, actually more than a mile because I didn't turn this on until I was a few hundred yards out in the lake. 40 minutes, a bit of fishing. I've managed to do a mile. That is the gorge bit down there, I think. It's overcast, but that kind of suits me because it's still lovely and warm. But I'm not getting burnt. Let's carry on. Let's persevere, team. Come on, team. Let's persevere. Got a new spot. Look at that's the bridge over there. I was wondering about the sensitivity of bikes, but in reality, the fish I've seen in here in the photos, if one of them takes it, it's gonna bloody destroy this rod. <laughs> oh well. This is pretty cool. If you fancy a trip south of France, Marseille's not that far away. The Verdun Gorge is the yeah, the, where it gets the river, but this is the Saint Croix, Saint Croix, Saint Croix Lake, and all around it are sailing clubs and tiny little villages, um, or, or nice little villages and towns, and, and there are just hundreds of places you just as you paddle around. There are hundreds and hundreds of places where people have set up a little campsite, or there's no wild um, uh, camping here, by the way. If you're in a camper van or anything else, the whole region is designated. So you can't, you know, if you're one of these people who wants to pull up a camper van and park and just, you know, sod it and park up, um, this, this whole region is no overnight parking or no wild parking. Um, so just be aware of that and be respectful of the way they've got it set up. The other thing I've noticed, and God, this is going to sound like an old twat, but there is no litter anywhere. All the beaches I've been to, all the little bits, there are plenty of people out, they've all got their drinks and whatever, but there's no litter. I guess when somewhere is this beautiful, you kind of feel a bit of pride in it. Choppy water, choppy water. I say, this paddleboard, I know it's the extra wide one. It's bloody disabled. I'm actually sat up on the box. So I'm quite elevated. I'm against the wind. Against the wind. Who did that? Anyway. So I'm right into the headwind. Sat up on the cooler box. Cool box. Cooler. Um, but you know what? I'm still making progress and it's not really a hardship. Okay, this is no longer a fishing trip. This is now an endurance event, but to be honest, I've 
paddled a huge amount of way and it's all into a headwind which as you know is not easy but I'm kind of thinking that now this is a heck of a training day you know upper body strength core strength I'm still kneeling down on the board but I was standing up a lot so I will again so that's core strength this is really hard work I've probably been paddling hard you know if you're in a gym using one of those paddle machines for about 40 minutes um, and actually I don't feel too bad I don't dare stop because if I stop I'm going to be about half a mile away in about eight seconds in the wrong direction because the wind's that strong that was our going what a workout that was I'll tell you what I'm going to have a nap this afternoon right, I just wonder whether there might be a little place or a beach I'm going to go up on that beach there and just maybe have a swim or just sit with my feet in the water and chill out so that wind's picked up again I must get shallow very quickly because this is still really deep and I'm just coming into hopefully oh there we go it's a bit rocky let's go in gently and I can sit on this beach for a little bit have a drink chillax and maybe cast the line in look how clear it is tell you what none of these fish are being caught off guard because it's so bloody clear you can see something a mile away but equally, they might be able to see the lure a mile away. Positive thinking, Richard. Positive mental attitude. That's what we're after. These are just now the deranged man. Deranged ramblings of a man in the early onset of heat exhaustion. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. How cool is this? How cool is this? How cool? Oh, that water is so refreshing. Oh. My legs, my legs almost didn't work then because I've been kneeling. Um, I went round that far corner. I, uh, absolutely, probably, th I don't know, three miles, two or three miles, which at least 40 minutes paddling uh, with the wind ag against, which, as anyone will tell you, is incredibly hard work. Um, but look at this. Look how clear this water is. It's just absolutely stunning so let's get her up i haven't named the paddle board yet i probably should destroyer of fish look at this honestly look how clear that is that's absolutely amazing all right drink of water and then maybe i can stand out there and do some fishing Whew. i'll tell you what as workouts go i've still got a fair way to get back but um, it's only 12 o'clock. Do you know what? I haven't got any treats whatsoever in the cooler, but I feel like I deserve some. Should have brought a couple of non-alcoholic beers. Anyway. Oh, oh, I missed it. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Had a little knock and missed it. Oh, I missed the fish like a petulant schoolboy. I stormed off. Let's head off. <clears throat> oh my God, this paddleboard is so cool. It is just so awesome. I should tell you what, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Let's sit down. Well, a wholly unsuccessful trip, but not really, because I sat and read my book. I've just been paddling in this gorgeous lake for about four hours now. Haven't caught a fish, haven't even seen a fish. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So there we have it, coming into the final stretch. 
an absolutely stunning day no fish tried 10 different lures different techniques doesn't matter it doesn't matter this is just the wind's made a slight ripple on the water but when it's not there <laughs> you just see all the way down about 20 feet it's still incredibly deep here so that was the end of another wonderful day it really is beautiful here so next time i'm going to try out one of the, my shower gadgets and also fish from the shore and see if i'm brave enough to launch my drone